what's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King, and welcome back to my player career in FIFA 15 called Kings Rising Now. I had originally planned on bringing you something different today, a brand new series on my channel, an MLS career mode series, and after recording that footage for nearly four hours, starting up the career, you know it takes a long time, so I, I recorded for almost four hours, and then I got done and realized the capture device didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the capture device didn't work. Four hours of footage down the drain. I got no new career to show you today. But we're going to push forward with the career mode, my player career mode instead. As you recall, we are kicking off, or in the beginning stages of our second season as a professional, still on loan at Stuttgart from the Sounders. Uh, we're about to kick off our Euro League conquest. Uh, we, here's our group table right there on screen. We have Arsenal, Goatborg, and I'm gonna try it. Panathinaikos? I don't really wanna say that team name. I'm gonna call him Pana, cause honestly, I can't say that name. Um, that's our group. Our first game is gonna be against Goatborg. That's gonna be the first game of this episode. So let's get into this. Alright, my first European action with Stuttgart. I don't think I had a European match last season when I was with them, so this is my first foray into the European play. We're playing Gilborg away. Here is Gilborg's starting 11. God bless you if you've ever heard of any of their players. I certainly have not, but they must be a decent side, otherwise they would not be playing in this competition. Getting things started early, third minute. I've made a conscious effort now, a conscious decision to try to make this simple pass instead of forcing things. I've been losing possession way too much, and right here it works for me. I get the ball back in space, cut it onto my left foot, take the shot, it is saved. But we keep possession on the wing, he whips it back in, and there's little Carlos Grueso with the header putting us up 1-0 early in this one. The center defensive midfielder, the diminutive Carlos Grueso, gets us on the board with a header in the box. What a finish from the little guy. Here is Grotborg's real first chance of this game. It's off of a, a corner. The header just flicks over the bar, and that's really what most of their chances look like in this game. Kind of half chances, no real clean looks at the goal. I was proud of my defense after this game. But here we are, the R ensuing possession after that corner. We're working the ball up the field. I swing it out wide to the wing. We're working it up. He gives it back to me in the box. I make the first guy miss, get by him. Take a couple of quick touches and slide it home near post. What a finish. I had thought about finessing that uh, far post. I figured the keeper would get a hand to that though, so I tried to slide it near post and squeeze it in there. That is a world-class finish. In the second half, Goatborg though really composed themselves and started keeping possession and pressuring us a lot. That finish really was poor though. They had some good possession right there. That that work, that teamwork deserved a better finish than that. That was just a rush shot from them. In the 62nd minute, they're still pressuring us, still keeping possession, and I had seen enough. I just go straight through their player, take the ball, disrespecting him. We're going the other way. Abdullahi over the top ball. He puts it home. We got a 3-0 lead and sealed this victory. What a play from us. I love working with Abdullahi, he's a great player, but a little bit later, I do get a little frustrated. I thought I was fouled on that play, and I decided to come back and take him out, and unfortunately, the ref didn't like that move because he decided that was worth a straight red card for me. Just a stupid play from my end. I should not have done that. I got frustrated and let out my frustrations, and, and unfortunately, I'm going to be suspended for our next EuroLeague game now. Luckily, that game is not going to be against Arsenal, who's also in our group, it will be against Panathinaikos. Next up, though, in our season is going to be a game against Bayern Leverkusen. You can see they're in 12th place on six points, but they've only lost one game. They're a talented young side with a lot of potential. They're capable of beating anybody on any day. So if we're going to get three points out of this one, we're going to have to keep our wits about us and really focus and play our best. There you can see their starting lineup, and I told you, they got a lot of young guys, a lot of potential. They're a very good side. Early in this one, we're in the 10th minute, and we have not had possession yet. Leverkusen actually kept possession for nearly 12 minutes at the beginning of this thing, until right there, Stefan Kiesling puts them up 1-0. We had not had possession yet. The only touches we'd had were a couple of headed clearances, a couple of flicks away. That was it. 
Leverkusen really bossing possession early in this one, but I get the tackle in there, and we're off and going the other way. The Ginger gives me the ball in the midfield. I give it to Benteke, flicks it back to the Ginger, who hits me with the over-the-top ball, a controlling touch, and slots it home. We're all knotted up at one apiece. That was a great pass in from the left back. After that goal, we really started to get ourselves back into this game a little bit. Off a throw-in, the cross directly from it, Benteke just misses getting his first goal for his new club, flashing that header just over the crossbar. Leverkusen back in possession now, looking to get themselves back into the game a little bit. We had started to dominate them, but this series of events were just so unfortunate and they take the 2-1 lead, and who else? It's Stefan Kiesling yet again getting his second of the game. I thought we played that pretty well. Just a couple of deflections that ended up right back at their feet, and that being the major one right there, the rebound off the shot just ending up right at Stefan Kiesling's feet, and you know he's not missing from there. He's a good young striker, gives them a 2-1 lead. So unfortunate, but we did not hang our heads. The ensuing kickoff, and we're moving it back up the field. I'm taking it slow. Not forcing anything. Again, trying to keep possession for our team. Benteke gives it up to Lauschik. Lauschik moves the ball up the wing. A back heel to me. Into Romeo. Into Benteke. And look at that finish from Benteke. Slotting it in near post. Nodding it up at two apiece. That was great teamwork right there. That pass in and that finish from, from Benteke. Hooking it in near post. That was top class stuff from the kid. Unfortunately, I was unable to stay in the game very long in the second half. I had played quite a few games in a row, and I was hurting for fitness, so I had to come out around the 70-minute mark. But I thought we'd done enough to earn ourselves a point. The game didn't look like it was going one way or the other, like one team was going to pull away. But unfortunately, I can tell right there by looking at the table, we're on the same amount of points we were at before the game. And yeah, we lost that game 4-2, to giving up two goals in the final 20 minutes, that was a disappointing result. I was hoping for at least a point out of that one. All right, after that game against Leverkusen, we did stay in first place, and we had a game against Hoffenheim, which I did play, but I'm not going to show to you. It was nothing too exciting. They're a middle-of-the-table type of team, and I didn't think it was worth the time to show you that game. We did get the win. I did score a goal, my first penalty of my career. Um, but other than that, it was nothing too exciting. We got the win, moving us up to 18 points ahead of our next game. And the next game is one I wanted to get to in this episode because it is a big one. And here it is. An away game at Bayern Munich. It is a top of the table clash. There you can see the table. We are two points up on Bayern Munich as it stands now. On 18 points. If we beat them, we could go up by five over them. And that's That would be huge. Honestly, though, I'm kind of just looking for one point out of this. There you can see their starting lineup. They've got Robin and Goetze coming off the bench. They've got an embarrassment of riches. Clearly a class ahead of us, but we're playing well right now. I think we can get a point off them. That would be huge. I think we can do this. Early on in this one, both teams were kind of reluctant to send numbers forward, kind of just feeling each other out, getting a sense of what they're, each other are doing, until Harnik... Sends a shot in, it goes just wide. We almost got up right there, one nil on Bayern. But to be honest, I think Neuer had that covered all the way. Still, not a bad opportunity for us early in this one. Later on, we have possession in Bayern's half. We're working the ball around, I get the ball on the edge of the box, make a nice move, split the defense, and put the ball in, far post. What a shot, Neuer just got left standing there. Far post shot with power, Neuer had no shot. But if I'm honest, it was a little bit of luck. Lom got the tackle in, but the ball fell right back to me. The finish, though, that was all skill. What a shot. Neuer had no chance. You know what? Sometimes you get lucky, you get the bounces. Sometimes you don't. In this case, we finally got a bounce to go our way, and we're up 1-0. Shortly before halftime, we're attempting to break out of our zone. Benteke gets me the ball. Lom is trying to run me down. I see Boateng walking off the field injured. I use him as a screen. Get around. Get the shot in on target. Neuer makes a save. And another. And the ball doesn't even go out for a corner. Like I said, sometimes you get the bounces in this game. Sometimes you don't. In that case, we just didn't get the bounce to go our way. We do get one more opportunity just before halftime. Bayern lost possession in our half. 
Benteke finds me with a great through ball. I'm one on one with Neuer. Get the shot on target, but Neuer is just too hard to get the ball past. He is such a great keeper, and he is up to the task yet again. In the second half, it was all Bayern Munich. We sat back and played defense for 45 straight minutes. I kid you not. I came off in the 75th minute. I did not request a sub. The coach brought me off. It was his decision. And when I came out, I was very, very worried we were going to give up a goal or maybe two. We did it la just a week prior at Leverkusen. We gave up two in the final 20 minutes. But this defense showed what they were made of in this one. Sat back. Got, just took barrage after barrage of, of attacking waves from Bayern Munich. And in the end, they held on and we got a 1-0 victory on the road to Bayern Munich. Three points for our side, putting us five points clear of Bayern in the table. What a huge win for us. What a great win for this club. All right, that is going to do it for this episode. That went over Bayern, knocks them down into fourth place and gives us a four-point lead over both Dortmund and Hamburg. Hamburg. Hamburg's in a relegation zone battle in real life. How are they in third place in this game? This game, it doesn't make sense sometimes. It just doesn't. It's so crazy. But next time, we're going to start off with a EuroLeague game against Panathinaikos. Something like that. I can't say their name. Currently, we're tied at the top of the group with three points with Arsenal. So that's an important game. After that, stuff gets crazy. We have seven games for Stuttgart in the next month. And an international call-up, which I might get called up for. I've been hurt for like the last five international call-ups. So hopefully, I can get some time with my country wearing the Stars and Stripes. That would be pretty awesome. But uh, we'll start off with the EuroLeague game. And then after that, stuff gets crazy. I have potentially nine games next month. So it, it could get really, really, really stressful and, and strain my fitness, but we'll see what happens. But that is gonna do it for this one, guys. Be as much fun as I did. Make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.